Hello, my name is Amanda and I'm a librarian at the Lapis Health Sciences Library at ACU. I'm going to show you how to choose keywords using a PICO framework today. We have three objectives that will be met by the completion of this video. First, you will be able to describe what keywords are and how they are used in a search. Second, you will be able to identify keywords for a basic search using the PICO framework. And third, you will be able to apply your keywords into a search using OneSearch and PubMed. Let's take a look at how to generate keywords from our PICO or research question. Keywords are natural language terms. They reflect the most common words or phrases, which means they can also change very quickly as social languages do. Our research question is, in cesarean patients, what are the rates of wound infection based on types of wound closure material, especially surgical staples or subcuticular sutures? Our PICO has the following elements. The population is cesarean patients. The intervention is subcuticular sutures. The comparison is surgical staples. And the outcome is wound infection. When choosing keywords, be careful to follow three critical pieces of advice. One, be specific. Are you interested in brain cancer or cerebral ventricular neoplasms? The more specific you are, the less sifting through irrelevant results you'll have to do. Number two, eliminate acronyms and trademarked names. For instance, OMT can mean opioid maintenance treatment. It can also mean osteopathic manipulative therapy. Arctic Sun is the trademark name for a patient temperature management system. However, Arctic Sun as a search term will also pull articles on the effects of very short or long days in the Arctic regions on both people and animals. So instead, if you're interested in patient temperature management, search for induced hypothermia. Now, sometimes you can be too specific and return no results. Sometimes the acronym is standardized. For instance, HIV, always means human immunodeficiency virus. Finally, the third piece of advice is to remember that crafting an effective search requires time, patience, and practice. So now we're going to practice this in OneSearch and PubMed. Our topic is infection for cesarean closures. We might choose terms such as cesarean, closure, and infection. As you see in my example, you don't always need to use all of your PICO terms in the same search. So let's try this in OneSearch, which is the search bar on the LAPIS homepage. I type in just those exact three terms, cesarean, closure, infection, and then hit search. On the results page, I can scroll down and I can limit my results to the last five years so I can get the most recent literature. I can also limit to peer review for scholarly results. I can do the same thing in PubMed. I can put in just those three words, click search, and I can limit my search results to the last five years so that I can get the most recent results. If you're doing a simple search in OneSearch or PubMed, you will only need to enter your keywords. If you're doing a more advanced search, like for a lit review or a research project, please contact your liaison librarian for assistance in creating a more advanced search. Thank you for watching Choosing Keywords when searching with a PICO. If you have any further questions on this subject, please reach out to your liaison librarian or contact the library by calling, texting, emailing, or chatting. Our contact information is displayed in the video and also linked in the video description. For additional videos on the subject, please visit the Lapis Library YouTube channel. Have a great day.